when this patient came to see me with a diagnosis of both Sjogren's and fibromyalgia, she had seen a number of rheumatologists, was still having significant pain and fatigue, and was looking for some relief. Uh, at the time, I offered a, a trial of low-dose naltrexone, and uh, fortunately, uh, she uh, got tremendous benefit uh, within a few weeks of starting therapy. I continued to see positive uh, results in uh, patients with children treated with low-dose naltrexone. I'm also uh, very pleased with the safety profile. Uh, the most likely benefit I see is relief of pain. And this is typically the flu-like symptoms that uh, many patients with children syndrome experience. I've had a number of my patients tell me that the low-dose naltrexone actually helps them sleep better. And uh, as rheumatologists, we know that if we can improve the quality of sleep, that their fatigue often improves. I have patients who may get clinical improvement within a few weeks, uh, but typically I tend to see improvement within three months. Well, in the first case that I published, I was quite amazed and pleased that when this patient uh, improved clinically, for measures of inflammation that we monitor in people with a Sjogren syndrome, such as the sedimentation rate, also improved. So basically what this showed is that LDN not only helps symptoms, but also help improve the inflammatory process. Uh, in other words, it had a disease modifying benefit in patients with Sjogren syndrome. I think LDN, uh, based on its limited use, has a very good benefit-risk ratio. And so in patients with Sjogren's whose options for treatment are so limited and with a safety profile that appears quite benign, uh, I think the benefits outweigh the risks. I think that uh, patients with Sjogren's syndrome who take LDN may also find that the drug works quicker than the standard treatment uh, remedies such as Plaquenil or methotrexate. So they get a, may get a quicker response uh, to the drug and may not require taking other immunosuppressives such as uh, prednisone or corticosteroids. Definitely, I think it certainly uh, can be considered, in my experience, a first-line drug. Uh, some patients uh, prefer the side effect profile of LDN as opposed to the potential side effects of corticosteroids, methotrexate, or Plaquenil. I'm just very pleased to have the opportunity to use this uh, product to help patients. It's, it's very gratifying to see, and in those patients where it works, it really can change their life.